I am Wanjiru Kaburu, a young black African woman, a daughter of Africa. The first human being I saw when my tiny little eyes could finally see was a woman. And her presence has remained constant in my life. Go ahead and tell me it's because a woman is a primary caregiver. And I will ask you, why so? Isn't a child made by both a man and a woman? Isn't a child born of both? Fast forward to when I was old enough to interact. I could see and I still see women till the land with babies on their backs and manage their homes in such a way that there was food, shelter, discipline, and children go to school. Speaking of school, my amazing African mother is a head teacher and guess who shows up at school every time she sends children home to get a parent? The mothers at least 95% of the time. Note that these are kids from families with both a father and a mother. What does that tell you? Let's look at the health practices. Why do I always hear of midwives? When I dig deeper even to the more in the modern times, I see women practitioners working with what they have in villages to provide health care to the communities. I am asking you more questions than giving a story because I'm just trying to call you to look inly and reflect on the already obvious position of a woman in the society, in governance and leadership, in health, in education, and also in the promotion of growth and equity beyond gender dynamics. Girls have been nurtured in the hands of amazing women to go against all odds such that they can graze, till the land, and still cook, tidy up, and go to school. And we have seen young women carrying the weight of all of it on their shoulders, even in the modern times. They are nurtured to nurture and lead and we have seen it. We know it. However, why do we forget it when we get to the boardrooms? How is it that these amazing women who have proven to be exemplary naturals are not entrusted with nurturing our sectors and our nations? Don't you think that it is this exclusion that is contributing to feeble and dead nations and economies? People talk about women empowerment and affirmative actions as ways of getting the women a seat at the table but I look at it as a way of restoring the African woman to her rightful place. She deserves it and she has proven it from the grassroots since time in memorial to date. Women deserve a seat 
at the table. That is my submission.